Hey everybody, this is Catherine and I'm doing my little intro video for the Trans Calendar Project. Um, I have a little guideline list over here, so if you see me like glancing that way, that's why I'm doing that. Um, so the first question on the list is, where am I from? I'm born and raised in Seattle, Washington. I still live here. Um, I did spend a brief time when I was a teen in Montana and that was, it was okay, you know. I, I grew from it, so it was a good experience. Um, what are my passions? Um, I'm very passionate about makeup. I don't consider myself like bomb or anything like that, but I do love, you know, studying it and trying to improve and seeing girls who are just like crazy good at it, you know, on Instagram or whatever. Um, I've also started getting in more into feminism. I was always kind of a feminist before, but now I found more strength in it. Obviously that it's more, I guess, applicable to me because you experience things firsthand, so it kind of changes your perspective on some things. Short and long-term goals. So short-term goals are just to continue learning more about myself. Um, I have been transitioning for 11 months. I've been on hormones 11 months now, and I've been full-time about five, six months. So I'm still pretty like new to the game in learning about myself. And Every day is really a new opportunity because I realized how much I had neglected myself in the past and now it's like I'm awakened and stuff and I'm like happy to be doing stuff and a part of everything. So I'm really excited about that. Um, Long-term goals are I eventually would like to go back to school to become an esthetician because skincare is important to me and I think it'd be fun just to like learn more about like laser and waxing and all that other stuff. Um, so yeah, I think that'd be cool. And eventually too, I want to, you know, get, um, SRS and all that other stuff. And I'm very upfront about it. And luckily, um, Washington state coverage should be covering it within the next year or so. So that'll be super exciting. Um, let's see, what am I currently doing in my life? Not a lot right now. That kind of goes back to the previous question. Um, I'm unemployed at the moment. You know, I do gigs here and there, but for the most part, it's just been a really great experience just to learn about myself. It was a great summer, my first summer vacation in God knows how long. And it's just been a really great chance for self-discovery and learning more about myself. So, you know, I'm, I'll find something eventually. I probably could be trying harder than I am, but, you know, I'm having fun with it. So who cares? Um, the next question, how do I feel? Oh my gosh, like, every day is just such a great opportunity, like, because basically since I realized from puberty, my first puberty, I had kind of shut off emotionally and I hadn't even noticed it. Like, I have not cried in almost 10 years when I, you know, from puberty to when I started transitioning last year. And to feel emotions again, happiness, sadness everything in between is just so crazy and I was it's almost sad in retrospect to realize how detached I had become and what I accepted as normal um, I'd say granted my day-to-day -day life is more difficult now in terms of just you know anxiety out in the world how you're treated amongst the population you know and generally I I have a very good time, you know, I don't like get misgendered or anything like that, which is nice, but you know, there's always, when you go out to the clubs or bars or something, that will say that's a man or something like that, and you know, it, it hurts a little bit, I'm not going to say it does, but I've grown to it and stuff, and if people are going to like me, they're going to like me, and if they don't, they don't, I can't, you know, be anyone but myself, so it's like, I don't know, I'm just happy to be me, and I said this in my other videos before, that you know, even the worst days of being a girl are better than the best days of a boy. So that's one thing. Um, so yeah, so the next category is all transition related. And the first one is regarding where you are from, how is your transition going? Um, luckily, I'm from Seattle. I live in Capitol Hill, which is the pretty much the gay district of Seattle. Um, so everything is very very accepting for the most part, you know, I don't, like I said, even if like some like waitress or something in a restaurant clocks my tea or whatever, you know, she'll still use female pronouns and all that. 
and you know I haven't had much trouble and I have a good community behind me so I know I'm very lucky for that for where I'm located and who I know and all that stuff so I'm happy about that and the next question is how's it with family friends in the overall world I already kind of touched base on this a little bit, but my friend group has been great. Um, I was a drag queen before transitioning, and I was I was relatively like known in Seattle to a certain extent, so I had a great support from the drag community, and I've also had support from my parents, which is great. I'm not super close with them, but they do support and love me for who I am, so I'm happy about that. Sister has been great. Um... My brother, my brother and I are still about the same. My one brother, you know, we've never been like super close or anything like that. So it's still pretty neutral. But, you know, he accepts me for who I am. My other brother is a different story. He's all that basically, you know, taken me out of his life. But, you know, I keep trying. I'll send him a nice message every now and again. Be like, hey, happy anniversary or whatever. Or check how the family's doing. And hopefully he'll come around sometime. You know, he is more on the religious side of things. So I don't know if he takes issue with that or if he just doesn't want to, but I don't, I don't know, you know, it's not my place to say anything. So, yeah. Uh, the next question is, where are you at with your transition? Um, so I have been on hormones 11 months now. Um, still haven't, you know, haven't had any surgery or anything. Um, I would like to get probably in the near future, like I said before, I want to get SRS eventually. I probably, depending on how much, you know, more my breasts go, probably a breast augmentation, and probably I want to do some FFS too, just to tidy up some stuff on my body, so, and face. So, um, I'm, I'm happy though. I'm happy with my progress I've made, and it's a cool thing. Um, the next question is, do I have any exciting or emotional things upcoming? Nope. Um, actually, yeah, I take that back. I totally do. So I have my one year hormone anniversary next month on October 3rd. So it'll be my first birthday. So yay. Um, so I'm excited for that. That's about it though. <laughs> of anything, unfortunately. I'm really happy with where everything's going. Transition was the best thing that ever happened to me. Like I'm so much more happy and confident now that I can be me and I get, you know, society sees me as the same too. So I don't know. My future just feels so bright. I, 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 I just, I don't know. It'll be, I'm just excited for the future. I can be anything I wanted to be. I can be a wife or a mom someday and I can just, I don't know. I know that's, it's, it's just a, a thing that always has been special to me and to have that. Everything I've never thought was tangible available to me is the most awesome thing ever. And I'm so thankful for transition and hormones and being able to be me. Um, anyway, so thank you all so much for watching my little video. I hope you liked it. And I love y'all. And if you like, you can watch me on my YouTube channel too. So thanks. Bye.